Hi, my name is Dr. Doug Black. You've probably heard the safe sex talk before, why you should use condoms, birth control, and the rest. Good news, for the next five minutes, I'm here to give you a crash course on everyone's favorite sex-related topic, sexually transmitted infections. A sexually transmitted infection is a sickness that is passed on from one person to another during sexual activity. There are many different types of STIs that can be passed on during oral, vaginal, or anal sex. Some can even be passed on by skin-to-skin -skin genital contact. The short name for sexually transmitted infections is STIs. You may have heard people call it STDs or VD. All these mean the same thing. How do you know if you have an STI or if someone else has one? You don't. One thing that you always have to remember about STIs, most of the time they're invisible, meaning they often have no visible symptoms. The only safe sex is no sex. If you choose to be sexually active, there is such a thing as safer sex. That means using a condom if you're sexually active and make sure you get tested for STIs regularly. It is important to treat STIs as soon as possible and not to spread them. Many can easily be cured, but if an STI is left untreated, it may cause other complications in the body. Some types of STIs can cause infertility and even death. Now I will go into some specific information about each STI. If you would like more in-depth information, please go to the Sexuality and You website to learn more. STIs can be grouped into three families, parasitic, bacterial, and viral. Let's start with the parasitic ones. Parasitic infections. A parasite is a creature that lives off another being's body. Think of a parasite as a little bug that lives off a human but cannot always be seen by the naked eye. Number one, pubic lice. Pubic lice are also called crabs because that's what they look like under a microscope. Pubic lice live in pubic hairs around the genitals. They lay their eggs at the base of the hair. They can be itchy or cause a little inflammation and they spread pretty easily. Secondly, scabies. Scabies are tiny mites that dig little holes below the surface of the skin where they lay their eggs. You can't see them, but they can cause itchy rashes also. Scabies and pubic lice can be treated with lotions and shampoos. Clean all bedding, towels and clothing with hot water. This also helps kill them off so they don't come back. Thirdly, trichomoniasis or trick. Trichomoniasis is a common STI. This single-celled organism can infect the urethra, the bladder, the vagina, cervix, or get under the foreskin in men. It can be transmitted through sexual activity and by sharing sex toys. Often, there are no symptoms, but trick can make the genitals feel itchy or irritated, and it causes a frothy discharge and pain during urination in both men and women. But trichomoniasis is easily treatable with medication. The next group of STIs are called bacterial infections. These are infections that occur when bacteria affect a part of the body. There are three of those in this category. One, chlamydia. Chlamydia is one of the most common sexually transmitted infections, especially among people ages 15 to 24. It is spread through sexual activity and often does not show any signs or symptoms. If it does show signs or symptoms, some of the more common ones are itchy and flamed genitals, discharge and painful urination. Chlamydia is easily treated with antibiotics, but if left untreated, it can cause infertility in both women and men. Secondly, gonorrhea, or the clap. Gonorrhea is an infection that often is transmitted at the same time as chlamydia and shares many of the same symptoms. It's found most commonly in people aged from 15 to 29. Gonorrhea is also easily treatable with antibiotics, but if left untreated, it also can cause infertility in both women and men. Thirdly, syphilis. We don't need to say too much about this because it's pretty rare nowadays. Once considered very rare in Canada, syphilis is now on the rise. 
Syphilis is called the great imitator because it shows signs that other diseases show. There are three stages of syphilis. It starts with a small painless sore where the bacteria entered the body. This stage is easily treatable with antibiotics if caught early enough. In stage two, a person may develop a general feeling of being unwell or flat smooth warts appear in the genital area. In stage three, syphilis that has been left untreated can cause heart problems, mental issues and even death. The last group of STIs are called viral infections. In general, Viral infections involve many different parts of the body at the same time. There are four in this category. Firstly, the human papillomavirus, or HPV. The human papillomavirus is the most common viral infection in Canada. Approximately 75% of adults will have at least one infection in their lifetime. There are over 30 different types of HPV that are sexually transmitted through oral, anal, or vaginal sex, but it also can be spread by having skin-to-skin -skin contact. Some types cause warts and some can cause cancer if the HPV goes untreated for many years. It often has no signs or symptoms and it may be difficult to spot. Vaccines are available now to prevent the most common types of HPV. Secondly, Hepatitis B virus. Hep B is a vaccine preventable viral infection that causes problems with the liver. It's not to be mistaken with hepatitis A or C, which are other forms of liver disease. Hep B is easily transmitted not only through sexual activities, but by sharing items like razors, needles, and even toothbrushes. Signs and symptoms are tiredness, yellowing skin, nausea, vomiting, and a decrease in appetite. Thirdly, genital herpes. Genital herpes is caused by the herpes simplex virus. It's in the same family of viruses that cause cold sores around the mouth. Both types of herpes can infect the genital areas, causing painful sores. The virus is transmitted by sexual activities or by skin-to-skin -skin contact. Most often, people mistake genital herpes for HPV or genital warts. There is no cure for herpes, but effective treatments for recurring outbreaks do exist. The virus can go into a dormant stage and display no symptoms, but it is still transmittable during this stage. Fourthly, human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. The human immunodeficiency virus attacks the body's immune system, leaving infected individuals unable to fight off other illnesses. It is transmitted through sexual activities, but also can be spread by sharing items such as razors, needles, and toothbrushes. It's not spread by hugging, shaking hands, or other casual contact. At first, someone who is infected might experience flu-like symptoms, a sore throat, joint and muscle pain, skin rash, and rapid weight loss. Eventually, infected individuals may get very ill and die from other infections or cancers. If you notice any symptoms of STIs and you had an unprotected encounter with someone, please see a health professional. If you test positive for an STI, make sure you seek treatment from your healthcare professional as soon as possible. You'll also be asked to contact all the partners that you've been sexually active with to avoid spreading any of the infections. It is important to treat sexually transmitted infections, many of them easily curable, but may cause infertility or even death if left untreated. To learn more about getting tested for sexually transmitted infections, watch My First Birth Control Visit and STI Exam.